Good evening, everyone. In case you're wondering why the screen is black, it's because I'm driving and I'm uh, just gonna kind of talk. So hopefully you'll be able to listen to me talk without looking at my beautiful face today. Um, so it's nighttime, obviously. A couple hours ago, my buddy Wayne at Westwood Survival, he uh, did a video about a, a knife being a uh, good self-defense weapon. And uh, I wanted to chime in and add to this subject here. And uh, he had a great video. Um, I'm going to leave a link below if you're not subscribed to Western Survival. So sub him and check out his video too on this. Um, but yeah, I do believe a knife is an excellent self defense weapon. But there's a lot of things involved with that that a lot of people need to consider. You know. Like any weapon, you should be trained to use it. I'm not saying not to carry a knife, but you know what? If you're planning on carrying it, you might not hurt to take some knife last, last knife fighting lessons or self-defense lessons on, on. Even if you take stick fighting lessons, it'll help you with a knife. But you should know how to deploy it and know what strikes to use for a self-defense scenario and how to handle a blade safely and effectively. But... The main thing I wanted to discuss about this is something that a lot of people need to keep in mind. If you're in a knife fight and it's gotten to that point, you are literally already in a scenario that is not a good one. You're already up shit's creek. The last place you wanna be is in a knife fight. It really is. If you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do. I carry knives with me, most of us do. I know how to use mine, most of the people I talk to around here know how to use theirs. Even if you don't, yeah, I'm not saying not to carry it. But keep in mind that it takes a lot of balls to cut and or end a life with a knife. It's not the same as shooting a person from a distance. There's a feeling that one will feel of the pain. You will feel the other person's pain when you cut somebody. You take a life, some people say you can feel the soul come out of the other person. It's extremely personal, it's extremely emotional, and it's something that if you're planning on using a knife as a self-defense weapon, a lethal self-defense weapon, you need to be prepared for it. And most people are not gonna be able to handle that, in my opinion. I'm not saying you won't be able to handle to draw your knife and do what you got to do to defend yourself. Your natural fight or flight instinct is going to kick in in a situation. But it's not as simple as everybody thinks. Everybody talks about, oh, yeah, you know, I, I, I'll come up me, I'll stab the MF, -er, you know, no problem. You say that. You say that. It's a lot easier to pull a trigger than it is to take a man's life with a knife or to cut a man with a knife. And let me also explain one other thing. If you're going to be in a knife fight, i.e. with a person, another individual that also has a knife, you are going to get cut. 90% chance that's going to happen. This is the real world. Knife fighting is very, very hard. It's a very hard skill. And if you're getting into a knife fight with somebody, even if it's just two unskilled people with blades fighting, that's the worst. Somebody's gonna get cut, and you're both are most likely gonna get cut. So, my suggestion would be, yes, a knife is a great self-defense tool. You should all carry them. Take some classes, learn how to use them if possible. But do whatever you can to avoid having to. Talk to anybody that's ever had to take a land for another man's life with a knife, another person's life with a knife. And I guarantee you they'll explain to you how it's an image that is never going to leave their brain. The feeling of, of well, even if you cut somebody with a knife, a lot of people will tell you that you could, it's almost like you could feel, feel their own pain that you're inflicting on them. It's so personal, so personal. Keep that in mind. I said in a video I did a long time ago about defending yourself with lethal force, that you have to be able to live with the decisions and the consequences of your actions, even if those consequences are justified. So, that's just my little little bit of a, a, a 
not an opinion, but I, well, well, I guess yeah, my point of view that I wanted to add on to the topic, you know, everybody just really keep that in mind that it's an emotional experience that you're going to have and it's not going to be a good one. You know, if you're just some kind of hardened individual and, and you've been through it all, seen through it all and seen it all and it ain't going to affect you. There are some people out there that are doing no problem, no problem. But using, using a knife in a lethal manner is not the same as pulling the trigger or anything else. And I'm not condoning violence before YouTube probably is not going to like my discussion video here. But I'm not condoning any type of violence whatsoever. I'm just saying if you have to defend yourself, just always keep in mind that you got to live with your actions. And using a knife or any other weapon or your bare hands, very similar, is not going to be something that's easily lived with for most people. So that's it. Hope this wasn't like a depressing topic, but I wanted to just add this in. If you get a chance, check out Wayne over at Westman Survival. You know, if uh, you're, you're new to my channel, whatever, there's a lot of other great channels that I'm sub to that are sub to me that I'd like to see everybody check out. You know, West Sass, Savage Survival, Westwood Survival, Prepping Sapper. Uh, there's all sorts of good channels out there. Die Bullfrog 79. Uh, I can't name them all, guys, but there's a bunch of them that if you subscribe to me, please, please check them out. They're giving me a lot of support. I support these guys. They're great channels. You can learn a lot. And a lot of us, you'll see a lot of us uh, go chime in back and forth with VRs and input on each other. So, you know, help grow the community, you know. All right, everybody. Have a great night. Stay safe. And uh, see everybody on the next video.